Hello and welcome to the Daily Vigil Bible. I'm Bobby Yates. Let us open door 8 and see if Jesus fulfilled the prophecy of being a descendant of Abraham, who later became known as Abraham. The book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. It's clear that the writer of the Gospel of Matthew certainly believed that Jesus was descended from Abraham. It's Numbers chapter 23 today. Let us open God's word of prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, that you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they come to better understanding of you. Amen. Numbers, chapter 23. Balaam said to Balak, Build here seven altars for me, and prepare here seven bulls and seven rams for me. Balak did as Balaam had spoken, and Balak and Balaam offered on every altar a bull and a ram. Balaam said to Balak, Stand by your burnt offering and I will go. Perhaps Yahweh will come to meet me. Whatever he shows me, I will tell you. He went to a bare height. God met Balaam and he said to him, I have prepared the seven altars, and I have offered up a bull and a ram on every altar. Yahweh put a word in Balaam's mouth and said, Return to Balak, and thus you shall speak. He returned to him, and he saw he was standing by his burnt offering, he and all the princes of Moab. He took up his parable and said, From Aram, as Balak brought me, the king of Moab, from the mountains of the east. Come, curse Jacob for me. Come, defy Israel. How shall I curse whom God has not cursed? How shall I defy whom Yahweh has not defied? For from the top of the rocks I see him. From the hills I see him. Look, it's a people that dwells alone. I shall not be listed among the nations. Who can count the dust of Jacob? Or count the fourth part of Israel? Let me die the death of the righteous. Let my last end be like this. Balak said to Balaam, What have you done to me? I took you to curse my enemies. And see, you have blessed them altogether. He answered and said, Must I not take heed to speak that which Yahweh puts in my mouth? Balak said to him, Please, come with me to another place, where you may see them. You shall see just part of them, and you shall not see them all. Curse them from there for me. He took him into the field of Zophim, to the top of Pisgah, and built seven altars, and offered up a bull and a ram on every altar. He said to Balak, Stand there by your burnt offering, while I meet over there. He already met Balaam, and put a word in his mouth, and said, Return to Balak and say this. He came to him and saw he was standing by his burnt offering, and the princes of Moab with him. Balak said to him, What has Yahweh spoken? He took up his purple and said, Rise up, Balak, and hear. Listen to me, you son of Zippor. God is not a man, that he should lie, nor the son of man, that he should repent. Has he said, and will he not do it? Or has he spoken, and will he not make it good? Look, I have received the command to bless. He is blessed, and I can't reverse it. He has not seen wickedness in Jacob. Neither has he seen perverseness in Israel. Yahweh his God is with him. The shout of a king is among them. God brings them out of Egypt. He has, as it were, the strength of the wild ox. Surely there is no enchantment with Jacob. Neither is there any divination with Israel. There shall be said of Jacob and of Israel, What has God done? Watch the people rises up as a lioness. As a lion he lifts them up. He shall not lie down on the, till he eats of the prey. And drinks the blood of the slain. Balak said to Balaam, Neither curse them at all, nor bless them at all. But Balaam answered Balak, Didn't I tell you, saying, All that Yahweh speaks, that I must do? Balak said to Balaam, Come now, I will take you to another place. Perhaps it will please God that you may curse them for or me from there. Balak took Balaam to the top of Peor, that looks down on the desert. Balaam said to Balak, Build seven altars for me here, and prepare seven bulls and seven rams for me here. Balak did as Balaam was said, and offered up a bull and a ram on every altar. Now Balaam was a prophet about the time that Moses was coming through. Every now and again God would speak to him, tell him what to say and do. He had a reputation in all those parts for being on the land of power. And when Moab's king heard Moses was coming, he called him in his needy hour. He 
said, Balaam, come and curse these Israelites. If you do, I believe I could beat them in a fight.